Welcome to Dr. Jester, and, and I'm gonna talk about the solution of racism. This, this solves racism. Marvel Comics quietly drops longtime X-Men codenamed Skull Hunter over potential concerns of racism. This solves racism. Yeah. Well done, Marvel. Well fucking done! You deserve a Nobel Peace Prize for solving racism. <clears throat> Marvel has quietly dropped the codename of a longtime X Men villain, John Grey Crow. Holy shit, even the name is racist! It has connotations of furries and animals, which. well. Which makes connection to indigenous people. Holy fuck, you stupid racism! Jesus, Copehunter, due to the term a this is connotation. Holy fuck, it's stupid racism! This cannot be allowed! In the long history of comics, some intellectual properties were created to drum up stories of new heroes and new villains. One such villain was named John Greycrow. Ah, racism! I'm so triggered by the name. Scop Hunter! Oh my god, I'm double triggered! Ah. They put it on Uncanny X-Men 210. 1986. Oh my god, two years after 1984, which is a book from George Orwell. And that was anti-communist anti com anti -communist satanic bible. <laughs> Praise As an assassin for Mr. Sinister's group of marauders, Grey Crow's mutant power is so is to reconfigure machinery. Holy shit, that's even more racism! During the mutant massacre storyline, Grey Crow joined the mutant assassins. Marauders and assisted in the slaughter of the Marlarks. Oh my god, it's a genocidal tube! Only genocide to further the numbers and the narrative and the utopia of communism is allowed! <laughs> and before you autists ask, yes, that was sarcasm. Marvel had most recently continued with the character's original name in a recap page of the New Hellion series. First issue. Oh boy, they are in trouble now. However, in abuse, they have not retired the Scalp Hunter codename in the recently received release second issue of the series. As you can, can see below, he is now simply called Grey Crow. Oh, the solution of racism. Marvel has been has also informed retailers that the upcoming True Believers X Men Scalp Hunter number one, which reprints the character first appearance in the Uncanny X Men to have and will be retitled to True Believers X Men Grey Crow. Yes, Marvel, well done! You solved racism by. Hopping? The name? And replacing it with another racist name because, well, you know, it makes connotations to the Native Americans and their animal spirits and things like that. It's racism! While this name change may prove divisive for many fans to simply name the character, Greg Crow is a narrative inconsistency, as seen in events of the recent Krakakoa and Dawn of the X Arcs. Oh, I'm super triggered. Super triggered. So many racist names. Mutant name, as seen in the Arcs. The various code names given to mutants, such as a Wolverine, Havoc, and Storm have begun to be seen as almost second identity, with many referring to such titles as mutant names. But the use of mu mutant name would help solidify the mutants as a solitary nation. Apocalypse, Apocalypse makes that point very clear in a discussion with Melody Country. Yeah, I'm not reading that. The idea of the condemn being a mutant name is far from a recent development. In 2001, X Ultimate X-Men number one, Xavier, Xavier, gives the newly formed team of X-Men new names, signifying it as they rebaptizing with their new skills and personality. It was an attempt to distance themselves from their old relic names of the past. 
This concept was repeated in 2012 when Scott Summers introduced himself to his mutant name Cyclops in the first issue of All New X-Men. The new phenomenon of mutants in the X-Book in the Xbox, taking on new names to reflect their powers is not a new idea, but a somewhat recent one, at least for the latter 2000s. The fact that Grey Rose doesn't have a new name to reflect his new reality is inconsistent with the idea that they are trying to establish in that world. That also goes for the Madeline Pryor, who should have the mutant name of Goblin Queen. In code names are a point of mutant pride, Grey Rose's lack of, co of a code name flies in the very face of the code names as a point of pride narrative being portrayed by Eve. I, 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 I need to mention how triggering this is. You keep mentioning Break Row. That's super racism. That's super racist. Don't you realize that Crows um, is a spirit animal of the indigenous people in North America? They should be ashamed to use that name. They should be ashamed. They should be cancelled. Uh, it's so fucking racist. <laughs> that itself has a long and sturdy history due to regular practice of various Native American tribes. <laughs> Become Satan! It was used as a method of intimidation akin to medieval Europe practice of putting heads on spikes outside of a city to earn only on lookers of the consequence faced by defying the given ruling authority. During the various conflicts of involving the Native Americans and the American colonists, colonists would issue bounties for Native American scalps as a means to incentivize the killing of Native tribes. Given that Greek is, uh, this is an eth ethnic Native American from an unspecified tribe, it should come as no surprise that the name Scalp Hunter was, has become a divisive topic. What? Um, mm. <coughs> Racism! Holy shit, these people are fucking retarded. Marvel. Even on this... <sighs> Even on the news here, it says that their practice is pretty similar to what has been done to many other civilizations way before that. Way before. Headhunters, uh, uh, scalp hunting, scalp hunters, all that. It predates. Uh, I think I'm going mad. Are these people fucking retarded? I have to ask. What do they think they will solve with the nine history? Do you think the Native Americans were that peaceful little Kimosabe or something like that? Uh, or peaceful Tonto? Or something like that that, that, uh, that they shed a tear for every violence? Do you think they were like that, you fucking retards? They were violent. They were really violent between them. They were genocides. They would pretty much wipe out a tribe if they wanted to. They would attack each other. Do you think for a moment, just a tiny little moment, that they were peaceful? Oh my god, the evil European man came to subjugate the peaceful Native Americans. Ah, oh, go fuck yourself. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Good night.